Actually, probably in this list, I only actually this is part of my haul. I love this bucket bag. I saw someone vlog about this and they were raving about how practical it was. I am sold <laughs> to the idea of this Grishko tote because I am someone who loves to use tote bags. But because this is so sturdy and it looks so chic, it is so nice to bring around and it's easy to just stuff your things in and out and I think if you were a dancer and you know this, sometimes you want to keep things as neat as you can. I mean like I sometimes take like 5 or 10 minutes just cleaning my bag, you know, like as a dancer and just like, you know, doing that and then in the middle of class, you need something and you get things and then you throw them back in and you realize Everything just gets messed up and so this tote bag is perfect for that, I would like to think. So I was using my Repetto bag, which is by the way still very very practical. I love the Repetto bag, it's so chic and so small, it actually fits so many things. I remember um, going through the airport and everything fit in this one and I just had a backpack for my laptop and everything else. But yeah, it is very practical. I would recommend it. It's really good. Good for the price as well. It came in tax-free. So it came out about maybe 28 US if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and so we have our Grishko haul. Well, it's not really mine again. I actually only probably have two things in this. The rest are actually my sister's and one of my students. And I might actually have to go back because one of my other students um, asked for something else. So I bought some point shoes because they are about 500 to 800 pesos cheaper than in Manila. And not only that, they had different types of... Um, how do you call this? They had different types of... Um, shack and then the width was really like there was so much options well obviously because you're in a different country so yeah i was really happy about it so we were able to get some pairs for my students i think these three are hers they're grishko novas and you can find them here and she's she has quite small feet but she's we were able to find it finally because it's been out of stock in so many places but she wears a size three so very small feet <laughs> And then my sister actually got to try new point shoes and we have never tried them ever. And so if I ever will do a review, we may do a review on these ones because they said it's a combination of Grishko Smart Point and Grishko Forte and it's called Grishko Neo Point if you guys can see. Yeah. So we got it in the hard shank and we also got it in the box 3. Normally she's a box 4 but it was a little bit wider so she got a box 3 and in size 5. So very interesting. Also, um, we'll put the videos after this one. I just wanted to show you guys the haul as well. And then you guys can be toured around the Grishko store. I have a lot of videos and the lady was so nice. She would um, talk to me and talk to me about sizes and everything. She was really fun and she would suggest so many things. So it was really, really nice to yeah, get to the Grishko store. It was a bit hard to find, but if you check it out, you guys can definitely um, check out the Grishko store. It's not so hard to find as well. It's a long tram, 22 which if you guys know Prague is the best tram ever passes through every place you want to go to so if you guys are ever in Prague I think this store is really on the way because I tried to check out a lot of other ballet stores and it was just so hard to get to they were always out of the way or you needed to walk and then so we also got um well I got like four pairs of tights it's like 230 Czech crown wait let's let's check that 230 check 
crown is about 583 pesos, which is very cheap. And it's about 10 US dollars. And we cannot find tights this cheap back home. And not only that, they gave us a tax-free form, which means it's going to be a lot cheaper, which I am ecstatic about. So I am thinking of actually going back and buying more pairs because this was a steal and I might buy a lot more than just these four pairs. Yeah, because they're great quality as well. And then, um, yeah, this is my tax refund form. And last but not the least, I of course got myself something. So I got myself a tote bag. It's the only thing I got myself. And then this, <laughs> it's a black label Grishko leotard. And when I saw it, I've never seen this style. I've always been seeing, lately I've been seeing so much of the mesh and the Grishko Academy ones that I did not or have not seen this. And it even says on the actual, um, how do you call this? mesh bag and then the zipper it says live your dream how smart is this marketing because I would take this around just to remind myself to live my dream which I am <laughs> happily but um yeah and gladly thank you guys but uh it came with a mesh bag great already and not only that the price was great too it was um 1310 chrono $1,350. So it was it was about 60 US dollars. It's fine, it was tax free as well. And um, the quality is great. Can you guys look at this? It's like one of those multi ray styles. It's actually, it is like multi ray. Just look at the cut, guys. If you want a comparison, they look exactly the same. <laughs> Except multi rays go a little bit deeper towards here. But um, yeah, they look the same. Just that's just my opinion. I mean, you know. But I will say they are a lot thicker than Maldives, and they come with a really nice bust lining here. And the lining is really nice, and it even comes with a pocket here on the side. I love things like these, like little details like this. So if you're concerned about your breasts and everything. Um, you can put in padding, so so for people for who want that, they can actually opt to put their own padding as well inside. The design is beautiful. I love designs like this just because I have quite long legs, so I love anything that cuts right here on my waist, so that it shows my legs a little bit longer. And the I wish this was a little bit higher, like towards here, so it could go up here, but then it's okay. It's quite high already, and um, yeah, it's really pretty, and it comes in a pouch. So I am very, very happy about this purchase, and the purchase of my sister and everything. So, yeah, I'm, I'm falling in love with Prague. I love it here. My sister... Sorry, my sister is going to be coming back because she got injured again before coming here and she was supposed to come here for a workshop which ended up into a trip somewhat of a trip so yeah it's been really fun and it's been great exploring the city I love the city Prague is really beautiful if you ever come to Prague I would suggest like going to so many of the sites and just walking because that's the best way to get to know any city except Manila which <laughs> you might get ran over. I wouldn't suggest walking. Maybe taking the train once in a while is okay, but go with a local. So yes. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I have not done a Grishko haul in so long, or a bag haul in so long, a ballet haul in so long, because it's my first time traveling in so long, and it's been great exploring cities again and getting to know the world <laughs> but um, I'm reminded all the time that I love it back home because I, I've been teaching from back here I just miss my students so much and we have so much work to do I don't like taking breaks I actually really hate taking breaks you know just like every other ballet teacher I want to work and work and work but at the same time yeah, it's good to take a breather, you know, relax, clear your head a little bit so people don't burn out. Something you realize in Europe is that 
it's not sustainable to actually be working all the time and that's something you'll always realize in Europe because in in Asia it's like you're always working you're always on the move you're always looking over your shoulder or you're always worried about what the next dancer is gonna do just because I feel like everything is so small also but here you feel so small you know big fish small pond small on big fish something like that <laughs> i don't know like something along those lines but i hope you enjoyed this haul of mine um we'll be posting a video of the tour around the Krishko star and the lady that i met so i hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys soon bye guys oh we have to cross <laughs> gonna have to cross. So, going to the Grishko store today. For so this time. We'll see this. And we'll turn right. And there's a studio here, a vandalized studio and <laughs> dance class, it says. We went to Grishko shop today. It's super sunny. On Saturdays, they only open till 2, but on normal days, they open till 6. And I went here yesterday. This was my haul. Well, it's like part of my haul. And it's a Okay. Stars open this time. Big flying, yeah. You have a very nice bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got yeah, it yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Really nice. Yeah, it's really strong. And you don't it's sickle nice. on these ones. It's actually really nice. Yeah. With her shoes. These are other stuff. Took some late yesterday also.
Inka bought her shoes and we got a lot of tights because they were very very cheap 230 chrono we should convert that later <laughs> well we'll just put the conversion here but it was really nice and the lady was so nice we're gonna come back on Monday <laughs> because she said they're new stocks of Leo's and new stocks of shoes and I'm still buying shoes for my students because they're a little bit cheaper just a little bit they're like 500 to a thousand pesos which is a lot you know you save a lot of money so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed